Hi, I'm Logan Gregware, and today I'm excited to walk you through the all new 2021 Winnebago Solus 59PX. We're gonna go through the general specs and also what makes this Class B one of the best out there nationwide. We're also gonna discuss how the 59PX is different from the little brother, which is the 59P, and also compare it to the Travato. So we're excited to take you along today. The Winnebago Solus is one of the most exciting Class Bs to hit the market in recent times. When we took on the brand at both of our New Hampshire and Vermont stores, we were ecstatic because what this Class B did was bring back some nostalgia with the uh, European style pop-up tent and still having that compact, versatile Class B frame, similar to what we're familiar in in the Travato. Now, for the 59PX, I'm gonna get into some of your general specs. So it's 21 feet with a wheelbase of 159 inches. This is slightly larger than say the 59P, which is 19 feet, nine inches, uh, still 159 inch wheelbase, but you don't have the gear garage that the 59PX has. In terms of the height of the 59PX, by adding the air conditioner, uh, you have a total height of nine feet, five inches. Now this is great news for a lot of people that are gonna travel through national parks, state parks, and maybe you live in towns with low hanging bridges because you're gonna have clearance in most places. Uh, you're also dealing with uh, an interior height of six feet, two inches. And when we're talking about your interior width, you've got six feet, four inches of living space. Uh, and then you've also got um, an exterior width. So, you know, when we start thinking about this in comparison to trucks of six feet, eight inches. So basically what we have behind us in the 59PX is an incredibly versatile um, vehicle that is gonna feel like just driving any standard old truck, which is really exciting when you think about the different types of people that may use this, right? So uh, the, the Class B 59PX Solus is just an incredible upgrade from Winnebago. Uh, now we're gonna hop into some of the other specs, but I'm ex really excited to take you through some of the features on the PX and how it's differentiated from the Travato and the 59P. I'm at the back of the Solus 59PX, and this is one of the most exciting parts of this 59PX. This is the garage. So what Winnebago did in the 59PX versus the 59P is they extended the box of this Class B to give you an additional 18 inches of space where you can stow and store any of the gear that you would wanna bring along. It's also got this new fancy L-Track system with different areas. You got four different points on the left and the right to uh, basically move these uh, pieces that you can hang different gear. So helmets, fishing rods, ski poles, mountaineering equipment, basically anything that you wanna do, you can utilize this uh, back garage system with. Uh, you've got different tie downs and there's also a lot of aftermarket accessories. So for instance, Winnebago recently featured a video from the Fit RV who they're partnered with uh, featuring how you would set this up with a bike system. So they did a dual bike system in the back, just a really neat video to check out, but also just showing the versatility uh, of the uh, rear garage here. Um, you're also gonna notice back here the Nautilus um, one command center for your all of your water hookups. So this is part of the outside shower setup. So you have hot and cold, and you've also got uh, all the directions. So if any of you are say grand, as you, you own a towable right now and you're making the transition to a class B, you may uh, recognize this from say a grand design product um, where you can winterize, do some dry camping, you can sanitize your system all from this uh, Nautilus water system. You also have your city water hookup as well as your spray port um, nozzle. Now, in speaking about um, Winnebago with this uh, dual door system back here, you have a, an outdoor shower with a curtain rod set up. Uh, so you don't need to bring anything extra with you. It will give you the privacy if you want to enjoy an outdoor shower here. And I think that that's really neat. Now, speaking about water and capacities in the 59PX, you do have a fresh water capacity of 21 gallons. You have a gray water capacity of 20 gallons. Um, and you do have your cassette toilet, which has a capacity of, of five gallons. Um, but going uh, into this water system, the way that 
Winnebago set up the Solus was that it would be a uh, fully self-contained unit for you to basically go anywhere from the deserts to the ski slopes, which I think is really neat about this system. If you don't want to take an outside shower here or if you have any need for the spray port um, further up the coach, they've actually given you another attachment um, near the sliding door, um, which will also show. I just think it's a great versatility when um, Winnebago designed this Nautilus system to basically give you uh, the most water capacity as you as you can. It's actually more water capacity than you have, say, in the in the holding tanks in the Travato. So. Another uh, important feature here in the rear is the uh, Kurt hitch. This is rated to tow um, up to 3,500 pounds, um, or you have a vertical capacity. So if you're hanging bikes, say, off the back and you, you don't want to utilize the gear storage area here, then you have a vertical capacity of 350 pounds. Uh, you also have a four pin connector if you are going to do any type of double towing, if you are trailering at all. Again, just make sure that uh, we've talked about this in other videos, but make sure that you're uh, following all state and federal laws when it comes to double towing. Uh, also in the rear of this Solus is the uh, backup camera. Now this has um, you know full color and it also provides you with kind of guidance lines when you are backing up. That's one of the things that I love about the Solus is you can basically drive anywhere on any adventure. You could take a wrong turn or an intentional wrong turn um, and if you need to turn around for any reason it's very easy just like driving a truck or a large SUV to turn this around versus say a Class C or a Class A. Um, on top of that you've also got the uh, Coleman NDQ uh, air conditioner, which this has versus the Solus 59P has a fan in the back for ventilation. So that's kind of the upgrade of when you go from the P to the PX, you add this 13,500 BTU AC on the back. Now, one of the most exciting features on the Solus 59P and the PX is the roof mounted solar panel. It's a 220 watt solar panel that spans the pop up tent area. Now, that's on the fiberglass roof. And basically, what that is matched up with is a solar controller that can handle up to 30 amps. Now, Winnebago didn't limit you to 220 watts, they provided you in the rear of the 59PX with a port to do basically a rear mount solar panel. So if you have some of the briefcase models, you can utilize those out of the back of your uh, class B, but they also have allowed you to pigtail um, more panels so that you could get a 500 watt up to a 500 watt capacity on the solar controller, which like I mentioned before, can handle up to 30 amps. The solar controller located in the central portion of the class B um, allows you to monitor your battery levels and basically how well your solar panel is doing. Obviously, when it comes to roof mounted solar. If you're getting direct sunlight, you're going to get a lot more capacity out of that uh, recharge uh, capacity than you will say on a cloudy day uh, when you're not in direct sunlight. But it's a great feature to have, especially for folks that are planning to boondock, that are planning to get off the grid. Maybe you're at the ski slo slopes for a, you know, a couple of days and you need that extra capacity um, and you don't want to run your generator, um, then you have that solar. Now, what's cool about the solar is it's also matched up where you have some uh, deep cycle AG batteries. So your AGM batteries, you have two house batteries um, and basically these are maintenance free batteries but one thing to know is if you are storing your uh, Solus at any point you do want to remove those so that you can or at least you know keep them uh, attached for a trickle charge and then you also have your your main um, you know vehicle battery. The AGM batteries that are in the, the house batteries those will be charged by your solar panel so something that's really important to consider. You also have the ability in this um, with a lot of uh, 12 volt and capacity from your batteries in the solar setup to run uh, various outlets. So like your USBs, um, your 12 volt ports, um, and you also have a 12 volt refrigerator. So you can run a lot off of your solar capacity. Uh, if you don't want to use that and say you need to use your, uh, your 120 volts uh, plugins, then you can utilize the generator. So the Solus 59PX comes with an Onan 2800 watt uh, generator. This is gas operated and it actually feeds from your main fuel tank which does have a capacity in the Solus 59PX of 24 gallons. So what the generator will do is it will basically use the first three quarter, it will run off the first three quarters of your tank. Once you get to a final quarter of a tank of gas, it will ha it has a shut off. But your generator basically matched with your solar allows this to be a fully self-contained unit that you can basically take anywhere in the country and enjoy extended stay camping off the grid. 
It's also got a quiet function too, so you don't have to worry about you know a massive amount of noise. Onan does a great job. Um, as we start to enter into the uh, general specs of the interior, there's a ton to unpack when it comes to the Solus 59PX. You have um, these great blackout window shades, so these will actually can zip up if you're sleeping in the rear of your coach, so these will just literally zip right up. You will wanna undo these when you are driving so that you have some additional uh, visibility, but you also do have a nice privacy tint as well on the back of these doors. So if you don't want to use these full blackout shades and you can still, you know, enjoy the scenery at your campsites. Now in the 59 PX, there is just one floor plan. There is the Murphy bed setup, which this Murphy bed folds down into um, basically a bed that gives you a 59 by 77 sleeping area. It's oversized and it's incredibly comfortable and it's very easy to use. The nice thing about it, is that it folds up and down in seconds. So if you need to use the gear garage, if you need to use the additional storage that falls um, below, whether it's the cabinetry or it's kind of like the fold up workshop area, uh, then you can utilize that quickly. Now, if you do need a different floor plan, then maybe you want to look at the 59P, which has also a sofa setup. So in the sofa setup, uh, you can actually, uh, that that's a sleeping surface of 59 by 71 and you, um, you have additional seating capacity. So if you're gonna be using your Solus more for just driving around instead of overnight adventures, you might wanna look at the Solus 59P with the sofa setup because you can seat up to six people, you know, because they have the safety belts. Um, one thing to note about both the 59P and the 59PX is that they have the sleeping capacity for four people instead of two, which is what we're used to in the Travato. So if you need to expand that capacity, say you're a grandparent, you, your grandkids may come along, you're a family that wants to hit the ski uh, slopes together, say you're going to you know, lacrosse tournaments, hockey tournaments, whatever it may be, and this is gonna be a primary form of transportation, uh, and you're gonna sleep in it instead of hotels, then you have the capacity. We've all been through crazy times with COVID. It's changed the way that we camp and we approach camping, right? Um, and the way that we approach even travel. So having that additional sleeping capacity with that pop-up area and the Murphy bed setup in the PX is pretty significant. Um, in terms of the uh, sleeping capacity and talking about the blackout shades, you do have those throughout the coach where they can basically zip up in the bedroom area. On the bottom of the Murphy bed, you do have a utility table too, so you can either use it for dining or say you are, um, you, you know, you use a lot of gear, you're mountaineering, you're mountain biking, you're hunting, fishing, whatever it may be, you do have kind of a utility table that you can utilize to work on anything uh, that you need to. Um, as you move forward into the kind of the galley, you have have one of the best kitchens um, in a class B setup. So you have a stainless steel sink with kind of a high rise faucet, so you can actually wash uh, pots and pans. I, I know a lot of people have, that, that's been a complaint in, in other class Bs, but not a problem here in the 59 uh, PX. And then you've got a two burner uh, cooktop that runs off propane, um, which is fantastic. You've got a 12 volt refrigerator. So going back to the batteries and solar, right? You're gonna have capacity off that. It's gonna cool faster than a lot of the gas electrics. Um, and you do have a little freezer option in there as well. Now, as we look at other parts of the uh, kitchen area, you've got a, a kind of a pull out table for prep space and you do have some good storage both overhead and below the sink. The Solus 59PX features the Truma Combi Eco Heating System. So this is a system that allows you to not only heat your hot water, but it also provides radiant heat to heat your coach. So this is really important when you look at things like the wet bath, which essentially become a gear drying room as well. So multi-purpose again from Solus. So for instance, what that does in here is when you're heating up your hot water, radiant heat is let off of this Truma Combi and it's actually vented and in your wet bath area so that if you do have you know maybe fishing gear or skiing or snowboarding gear and you've hung that up off of the rack in the wet bath it's actually going to cycle air in there so you can dry your gear faster get back out on the slopes get back out in the water or whatever uh, adventure that you're undertaking another important thing is that it's a very efficient uh, system so part of this uh, eco heating system that Winnebago has is uh, there's a switch located um, 
um, right near the sink and with a few clicks of a button, you basically start a process where it flushes your water lines of any cold water, it cycles it back into your fresh water tank and it starts to heat up your water so that you can have hot water faster. If you don't want to utilize that eco hot system, then you can just use the Truma Combi which is going to heat your water uh, similar to any other RV out there where it takes a couple of minutes. Just kind of different features but it's nice in, that, in this fully self-contained uh, Class B. Speaking of the wet bath, the difference of the Solus 59P and the 59PX versus say a Travato is that there is not a black tank set up on the, on the Solus. So the Solus has a cassette toilet with a capacity of five gallons. So this is a manual system that you must remove and um, you know you can empty. The good thing is when it is at full capacity, which uh, we've been told it's around 40 pounds, uh, it's got a wheel system so that you can comfortably wheel it to a dump station and you don't have to deal with any excess messes. It's actually a really clean system for a cassette setup uh, compared to anything out there. Winnebago took the time to design this properly so that it would be very user friendly um, and I think that they've hit it out of the park. There's also um, your shower with movable head and as we mentioned uh, before there is that uh, drying rack as well and you also have two areas where you can stow your toiletries so you have a lot of capacity in the wet bath area now as we move up to the seating area you do have a seating capacity in the 59px of four people uh, so you have this is similar to say this summer i actually drove around to uh, travato 59g very similar setup to that you do have a, a movable table um, so if you don't want to eat with that you can get that out of your way this is also the area where you start to access the amazing pop top which is one of the greatest features on this 59px uh, and 59p um, so you can actually put your ladder there it hooks into two safety clips and that's how you access your pop top area now if you want to stow the ladder you can do that up ahead up, up basically above the uh, the driver and passenger area there there's a place to stow a little bit more gear now as we get into the cab area the um, 59p and the 59px have a few differences so the 59px has seats with full armrests whereas in the uh, p you're going to have just one armrest uh, so it's a little bit more comfortable between those again 59px and it, when it comes to the cab is really it's a setup like a Travato uh, so if you've ever test driven one of those it's basically plug and play um, when it comes when you come to the Solus 59 PX um, you do have a nice uh, infotainment center with navigation with radio setup with additional media and then some other tracking metrics as well which I'll cover more on a road portion that we're gonna we're gonna cover now inside the coach above the uh, rear passenger seats you do have kind of a one control center where you have your uh, Truma combi um, monitor you've got your Winnebago panel so that you can you know check your uh, gray tank capacity you've got your generator start and stop you've got your water pump switch uh, you've got your holding tank heater to turn it on and off and you've also got your um, solar controller as well as your LP on and off switch the propane capacity on the Winnebago Solus is just under 25 pounds at 24.96 straight from Winnebago. That equates to about six gallons of propane. So you will need to fill these tanks uh, from time to time. Now that is located on your passenger side, right below the running boards um, on the sliding door. Now the Solus has some incredible exterior features. Behind me on this Solus 59PX, this is actually featured in the Deep Cherry Red. If Deep Cherry Red isn't for you, Winnebago also offers this in the Summit White and Many of you may not have heard this at this point, but Winnebago has announced that they will also be offering the Solus in silver. So there are now three exterior options that you can choose from. Now, in terms of the general um, kind of exterior features that the Solus has, they do have an R16 tire with an aluminum wheel. Now the 59PX has power mirrors that have defrost and folding function, whereas the 59P has just manually operated uh, exterior mirrors. 
Another nice feature on this is uh, when you look at the, at the front of the 59PX, you have your clearance lights, you have a huge windshield for a great field of view, and you have um, high mounted lights for good visibility at night, but you've also got fog lights. So the 59PX features fog lights instead of the 59P, which just doesn't have that feature. Now there are fixed uh, running boards on these that do have a nice Winnebago emblem in the tread. It's a sharp looking piece on the Solus. Um, and as you kind of move around, you notice the um, black portions, which are highly weather resistant um, and kind of just add to the aesthetic of the coach. Uh, you do have a door side light um, and you have, as we mentioned earlier, your rear view camera and you've got your uh, 13.5 AC matched up with your uh, solar panels on your fiberglass roof. Now on your driver's side of the Solus, that is where you would access your cassette toilet uh, and you would also, um, at, there's the vent for your Truma Combi uh, heating system.